Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori Merritt and I'm a photographer from Washington State and I just got back from an awesome trip to Germany, Berlin specifically. Today I wanted to talk about my last shoot of my trip. It was my eighth shoot in about seven days. So definitely a busy schedule but I was so happy that I was able to shoot that much in a new location with all these new experiences. I want this video to serve as a gentle push for you to just try shooting film in the studio because if you're anything like me, you had made it out to be something more intimidating than I think it actually is. It's not all that hard to do if you just set something up that has nice soft flattering light which allows you to focus on adding some nuance to the other parts of the shoot, maybe the poses, maybe the flow between you and the model. I'm really encouraging you to grab your film camera and go into a studio because I know for a fact Voda shot the same set on digital, it just wouldn't have that appeal. I really um, believe, and especially so after trying this out for the first time, that film achieves a look that you just can't get on digital, and, and that's true you know, outdoors, that's true in natural light, but it also serves to be true with strobe, and that's something I definitely want to explore a lot more, get a little bit more complex with my lighting setups, and I'll definitely do a, another video updating some of that in the future. So here we are, this is my last shoot in Berlin. Um, not only have I not ever shot strobe on film, all of the instructions are in German, so I'm having to use my phone to translate all of the signs and the equipment carts and all that stuff. Here, I'll show you what I mean. studio recommended that um, for these lights we use a shutter speed of 1 over 1 25th of a second so you can see I've got that dialed in and I've got my ISO set for my for portrait 400 basically I can't carry all of this stuff at once but you head over here to where the light is and if I had my other camera here and an extra hand I would fire off I would press this button and then you see that flashing? It's like ready to take a reading. So when I do that, when I have a free hand with the trigger, um, it gives me an aperture readout and I'm just gonna roll with that. And I actually realized that it's really accurate because I used that exact same settings on my uh, A7R 3 and um, took a test shot and the exposure looks perfect. But yeah, this place is pretty cool. There's so many different like flash heads and modifiers. I'm honestly just gonna try a one light setup with this huge 150 centimeter softbox. Um, I just wanna go for something really clean and well lit. We're gonna get some test shots done pretty soon here and I'll put those up for you guys. So I wanna show you guys what I just did. I just took a reading on my Sekonic light meter um, in flash mode. I'm gonna shoot on Portra 400 and rate it at 320. And the studio recommended that the shutter speed is one over 125th of a second. I think it's just the most universal um, flash sync speed, so we'll rock with that. And the Sekonic said that we should shoot this at F8. And honestly, I'm really happy with how that meter is working because look at the histogram here. It's right where it needs to be. The, the blacks are, you know, towards the left and the highlights aren't blown, so we're looking really good and we're gonna rock with those settings for a little bit here. Just a one light setup, just a giant octabox. Um, we're gonna just go for like, kind of a timeless soft light look here. So I am starting my first video covering my trip to Berlin with the last shoot of my trip. Kind of doing this in a little bit of reverse order, but this was one of the simple videos that I could create. I'm actually moving tomorrow to a new apartment. Um, so I'm just trying to throw stuff together here. It's been a lot of moving parts for me in the last month going on a two week trip, um, changing where I'm living, being in a little bit of a transition. 
but um, I wanted to get it upload done for you guys and um, I'll be working on a lot more. I've got an iPhone 14 review video coming up, probably gonna be dropping in early October, maybe the first week or two. Really excited about what I have planned for that. We're gonna be covering a lot more film, we're gonna be covering more portraits and um, travel and I'm really excited to see where this channel goes. This is a fairly basic video, um, but I am definitely going to be purposefully adding more um, production value and complexity to these videos going forward. And that might take six months, that might take a year, but those are some of my goals with this channel is to keep refining my process and to just give you guys a really engaging look into how I approach photography and videography and um, mostly film and, and who knows, maybe some digital too. I can't wait to keep going with this channel and thank you so much for tuning in and until next time, take care.